Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode two of the of the premier warband talk show, <laughs> Moot Point. Uh, we had a bit of a lengthier break uh, than anticipated, but here we are, ready. We're halfway through the season. I'm joined again once more by Scar. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, all good, thank you. How are you? Very good. I'm missing out on Dortmund against PG right now, so I hope you can all appreciate my effort. But obviously, when Warbin Battle Stream calls, I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. I've just realised I'm missing out on Liverpool Atletico, which should be a good match. So I'll get my yep. phone open as well. <laughs> um, uh, I'm joined once more by OGL. Hello. How are you? Great. How are you? Yeah, all good. Not you're not a football man, are you? Uh, yeah, I'm missing out on. Uh... Hamilton <laughs> academics versus Dunfermline, probably. Okay. A great a great fixture, a probably great full of uh, hatred somehow. <laughs> uh, somehow tying into it, the into the Irish Civil War. Yep, yeah, definitely. And then uh, a late replacement, so big thank you to our final guest, Matt. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me. Well, no, thanks for joining us. Anchor couldn't make it. They've run out of the internet in the barracks. Um, <laughs> probably 
coronavirus tearing through the British army, leaving us totally unprotected and uh, <laughs> ready to be invaded. Uh, but Bye. Yeah, I don't know who by, to be honest. But well, it could be anyone. The Ru- the damn Russians, probably. Bit of uh, trivia. When we lost I'm, to Malta, Anchor didn't play because he uh, went to go get a kebab. <laughs> there you go. Uh, a man has uh, priorities. Yeah. I'm sure the European Union would gladly have you guys back, though, if you need some protection. Great, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. Uh, so, I mean, you can see the background, I'm sure some of you. I've got a fancy smoke thing going on. Um, I just I just opened the screen that is fancy. So wow. that's pretty good. Yeah. Produ- steal, that, steal that from Bladecast. Production thought... value off the charts. Once <laughs> I know. More. I know. It looks a lot. I think it looks right. Right. It's, it's it doesn't cool, look too yeah. bad. Don't worry. I can't see it. Um, it I think it resets randomly. Uh, so that's not ideal. But randomly. Well, I think it resets at the end of the it loop, should, and it, it kind of looks it, awful. But it should really be an eternal loop, right? Where you don't notice it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it needs to be seamless. It needs to be like a seamless, one of those endless gifts. Aaron and Tade say really nice, good looking, so there, there you, you have it. That's, that's the two people I care about anyway, so. Exactly. Um, oh, Aaron going even further, worth watching the stream for. Oh, there, there you go. go. The, o- the only thing worth watching the stream for. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be if we carry on talking about it anyway, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's kick on. Uh, first topic of conversation, uh, a little bit of a kind of recap of everything that happened. Well, not everything that happened because we were here all day. Um, but like the interesting things, um, Scar, what what happened for you? Talk to me about Division A. Did it go as you expected, etc.? Um, Division A went largely as expected, I would say. Yep. Um, at and the start. On. <laughs> 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 That's done. Let's go. Um, now, as I said at the, in the in the first episode, I had Frontline Tactics down as uh, comfortable favorites. That being said, Unity managed to draw against them, I believe, in week three. Uh, which is a quite pleasant surprise, right? For the for the like benefit and health of the tournament. Yeah, that's a relief. But... <laughs> yeah, you, definitely. Uh... Yeah, just don't want to see one team running ahead without any challenge. Uh, obviously, I, I questioned Unity a bit after they lost against uh, Malta, but they pulled it back together and looking quite quite in form now, which is which is good to see, really. And then obviously the the bottom half of the table, kind of as expected as well. Uh, new Warband orders, obviously a bit of a shame, but yeah. I guess we I guess we get to that soon. Yep. Uh we have a whole segment, do we? We got a whole segment <laughs> dedicated to the, the old team's failings, so Joe. Um oh, Joe, do you want to talk to us a bit about uh Division B? Any anything stand out to you? Uh what happened in Division B? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean if you check out the stream we got the uh I mean, does anyone who knows anything about Division B want to talk about that? Uh Matt or Scar, do you have any thoughts? I haven't really been following Vision B, to be okay, honest. Brilliant so. guests. Absolutely I wonderful <laughs> guests we got here. Scar, <laughs> you're my final hope. Obviously, I've been largely following Div B as well, uh, as it is my duty as tournament admin. Um, I think... Oh, that's a little Div- digger Deacon there, I think. Uh, Deacon obviously followed it as well. He just, he's the talk show host. He's just mm-hmm. asking the question. Exactly. Uh, no, but um, in Division B, I think we all had Dane down as favorites, who came second, I believe. Um, which is which is expected, really. Uh, Döner had a, a very good run. Uh, I had them not. I, th- I don't think I had them in the first two positions. So that is is really good that they uh, had a strong showing, especially in the match against Dane, where they came out on top. Uh, a pleasant surprise was definitely Menace in my eyes. Uh, gonna talk about them more soon, I believe, in another segment of the show. Um. Rest of the teams, I would say, largely as expected, except for Senate. And another thing that pleasantly surprised me after the first episode was the Syrian Empire, who looked really shaky during the first two weeks, but then kind of got it back together, which is definitely nice because I respect them a lot, especially Anaconda, because of the history in the game. Yeah, I agree. They did well after. I mean, they got absolutely slapped down, didn't they, for the first few weeks? Um, yeah, so that, it's good to see them come back. Really, really rough start against Dane, and I believe the other match was. Let me check quickly. Uh, uh, BLD actually, which were not anyone's favorite, I believe, for Division B. So yeah, quite good. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, Division. I'm guessing if people didn't look at much Division B, then probably Division C even less. Um, but no surprises for me that Kobe Taraj, probably a team I, I possibly that should have been in Division B. 
um, because they do tend to do pretty well, the uh, NA guys, when they come over. So no, no surprise for me to see them perform pretty well. Uh, and obviously, uh, men of bore, yummy Senate. The the team, the, the league's a bit wrong, isn't it? Because some people got promoted from... See, yeah, so we've got, obviously, um, Senate and Men of War are the both uh, teams from Division B who got relegated. Yeah. Uh, and with War Bandits and Rivia going up from Division C, I believe. Yeah, yeah so, right, so they won C. Okay. Yeah, 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 so they won C with Kobe Taraj first. I always think they do tend to do pretty well. So we're going to do a new segment. I did think of a, a name for it. Uh, it was Well Done or Well Dumb. What do you think? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's very really nice. Yeah. So, uh, OGL, what what team was, or player, probably not player, because that would get a bit offensive, to be honest, <laughs> was, would, would you like to say well done to you? Uh, I think, uh, actually, Stark did pretty well. I mean, obviously, they didn't, they've, they're fifth, but I think when I look, just looking at the roasters in Div 8, uh, when we first did the first week, I thought, like, Stark were standout as being, like, well, not deserving of being in, in Div- Division A. Um, but to be honest, like when we played them, I think they played better than FTW did, and I saw they beat um, who was it, Dane? I think in the in the promotions they beat gave yep. them an absolute kicking, yeah. Yeah, so I think Stark have been doing really well for. Uh, they've been playing at the level that they were put at, which I underestimated them as being. So that's good. Uh, I've been disappointed this uh, WNL by. Did you say they, you got to say they're well done? They're well done. Dumb. And the team like, I dumb think... like stupid. <laughs> No, they were good. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did you think it meant? No, no, I'm saying who, who's your well dumb? Um, the team that I think are well dumb are Defenders of Faith. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Why oh, did I have oh. this segment with OGL on it? Oh. I had pretty low estimations of them, and somehow they've come in even lower, I think, in this tournament. Um, just shocking all round performance from them. <laughs> I mean, they're middle of the pack. That's not too bad, is it? Oh, that's just mediocre. That's like, in a way, coming last at least shows. You tried something new, you know. You could try new tactics, new players. Maybe you just gone in just having, you know, you just been just a fun team, um, funds of the emperor type thing. But you know, just coming middle of the pack that shows you've tried, but you've failed. <laughs> okay, all right. O- OJ, I'll take advantage there uh, of the new format to have a unsurprising pot shot at defenders <laughs> of faith, who this uh, moot point hold no ill will to. Um, Scar, well done, well done. Who you got? Well. Well done to Menace. Um, as many teams in Division B, I had them low, lower than I expected, actually. Um, which in turn means I had some other teams higher than expected, obviously. But um, yeah, I had I had them quite low, but they really surprised me. Um, they seem like a really good like group of players. Like a, they have a strong Turkish core, I believe, in their team. Um, when you look at their at their match screenshots, you can see that the kills are usually well spread out uh, amongst them, which indicates like very good team play. Which I believe few teams have this WNL actually. I think a lot of teams uh, going with individual performances. Um, I think like the first kind of moment when I when I started to notice them was in in week two against Senate, where I had Senate down as as clear uh, winners, but they actually smashed them on the on the close map, which was a big surprise to me. Uh, in the end, they fell short by like I think five BHS uh, to Dane uh, in the uh, in the race for second place. But overall, a really strong run by them, and uh, I believe they will do some damage in the in the knockout stage. Tough falling out to uh, BHS, of course. Uh, never, a, never a good feeling, is a it? For, a format not loved by many, but <laughs> I hate it. But I don't know what's better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we had some discussion right before the before the tournament. I it's think definitely it's just, better than rounds, isn't it? Right. Yeah, it, it, we did some like test runs and stuff, and it just turns out that BHS is overall fairer because you, you it did, takes. You did computations. You did simulations. Ob- obviously. Oh. I don't even know what BHS is not long. Don't worry, man. It, Come on, man. Don't worry, you're pretty no ad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you're you're well done, Scott. You can call it something well, else if you don't want to upset people. Uh, well, what? Well, yeah, well, I'm just gonna go with the format name, I guess. Well done, uh, Senate. Unfortunately, uh, in my they, had, I mean, they had a super strong run last season, right? In Division C, came out uh, comfortably on top, I believe. Uh, and I think everyone expected them to do a lot better in Division B. Um, we said last time that losing out on Yona in in such a team with like a mixed backer players, right? Some yeah. of them more or less experienced. Um, 
is is a big loss, but they got uh, brought in Arnie, right? I uh, Arnie hasn't Arnie hasn't played. So. Uh, he hasn't really yeah, up. yeah, he has played in one match. It turns out, so he was not very interested, uh, which is a shame, really. I mean, if they, if they relied on him, my, and he just doesn't show up. Uh, don't want to blame it too much for their for their promotion loss against War Bandits. I think War Bandits is just not a team that belongs in Div uh, C, rather at like top of Div B or uh, bottom Div A. But yeah, um, I hope they they're gonna have some like nice couple of weeks left in Division C. All right, good stuff. And Matt, finally, uh, obviously you didn't have as much time as the others to think about your pick. So, uh, I mean, have uh, you got any you can think of or? Yeah, uh, I'd say Dane for my well done. Uh, yeah, they lost out on the promotion, but throughout the whole group stage, they narrowly lost to Donna by like two rounds. And uh, you look at the stats, a lot of their players are doing well, especially Edric is doing quite well. I don't, he hasn't really played Native much in the past. I think he's been playing Mercs primarily. But, uh, I think they've done well, and they just got battered by Stark in the promotion. Yeah, grim match. Uh, that was yeah. on... Um... Blade cast, you go check that out. I commentated on it, so always worth a look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, um, and you're well done. Uh, I have to go Senate as well. Uh, okay, yeah. Everyone thought they were gonna do better than they did. And I didn't. They just bowled every match. I had them high, didn't I? I was, I was outraged. I think when a few people in a, in the episode one had suggested they wouldn't be near the top, um, but they really got a kick in. They thought uh, they were going to do better than they did as well. I bet they did. So, they, <laughs> well disappointed. It's quite surprising as well, right? Because both Dane and Senate came from Div C last season. Uh, and Dane, obviously, as you said, did really well, finishing second and Senate finishing last place. It's like you see the discrepancy kind of in performance. Dane probably worked themselves out of Div C, whereas Senate probably bought themselves out with their daddy's <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you might be wondering. Ladies and gentlemen, why uh, NWO weren't anyone's disappointed? Because I, uh, because I didn't let we them. were underdogs. I didn't let them. I didn't let them pick NWO because <laughs> they were such an obvious, uh, <laughs> well done. Uh, that I thought it would be a little boring. So let, should we talk about that? AJ, what, what are the excuses? Lay it on thick. Tell us what's gone I mean, wrong well, because I mean, we went into this tournament as the clear underdog. So I don't. I think it's a bit harsh to be like that. I mean, nobody expected us to pull any rounds, basically, against any team. So just how we've performed in itself <laughs> is, a, is a coup, I would say. I mean, it's, it's been prophetic, though, hasn't it, really? <laughs> yeah, it has been like, mis pathetic. Miserable. Miserable. Trash. <laughs> I mean, what, what's, that... what's gone wrong? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you might remember we had done no training matches before our first match in the first moot point. Uh, we continued to do no training matches for yeah. the entire tournament. Uh, we did try Why? to do one. Nobody showed up except me and Boris and a few other people. Um, yeah, and then we just we just played crap. Just playing a definitely good matchmaking, and I haven't seen like any of the NWO players yeah. playing you, at all. So. Except for me. Oh yeah. I I saw Attila on a couple of times, but. Oh, yeah. He yeah, actually, he it. pulled some like even though we lost all our matches, he pulled off some really like crazy shots sometimes. Yeah, he's quite class bad act. Because he, is, he would just do like a crazy headshot in like in like a middle of the match, just kill a cav like early on, and I'd be like, oh, get all hype and TS, and then we just lose the round anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just shows again, right, that just going off big names is not necessarily like, necessarily an like, indication for strong performances yeah. in the tournament. I mean, yeah, our like our cab lineup in particular is like really strong, but the rusty. But the um, it's not even rust. It's just like the cohesion isn't there at all. It's the kind of cohesion that you can just build from, like being a team that's played together a lot, doing training matches and stuff like that. We just don't have it. I mean, I, I did some matchmaking with Razor and uh, Peter some some days ago for a couple of days, and uh, I mean, all of us noticed that just not playing the game for like a couple of weeks or months is just. You're so far off where you could be, really. Yeah, yeah it feels like if you come back, it feels like you're like playing in syrup. Everything feels slowed down somehow. It's like it's, it's yeah. bizarre. Yeah, I mean, it's just overall a shame because obviously, like NWO, the players all have a, I think all of them have a big history in Robin, right? And most of them played mm -hmm. for Irish Rebels. Would have been nice to see them like come back stronger, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's, just the motivation wasn't there. I don't think. 
Yeah, um, it's, it's on, the results make a lot more sense when, when you <laughs> when you consider that you haven't played any trainings. So, but we definitely still could have beaten FTW and Stark. I think um, I think both of them were relatively close matches. I think Stark we beat in the first map, and I think FTW we beat in the first map, or it was pretty close. Um, but then both of them, like we just we ended up losing like six zero in the open map or something like that. So, yeah, I've been the stream with you guys again. Uh, yeah. At it. So like, and even against Donor for the promotion map, I think there was definitely some runs which were just like clear throws. Yeah, it was ten um, five. Yeah, but like, yeah, it was closeish. The, like on the first set of um of the second map, like that should have been a three zero for us, I think. But I think we ended up losing that or three two or something. Can't remember. Okay, so that's probably enough about NWO. Not much to say is there really. They were pretty disappointing. No, well, there but... is one thing that we should probably bring up, which is my um, CAV performance against Malta, which uh, <laughs> was actually the top score and top damage of um, of NDWO. So, something to consider. I did originally sign up for this tournament as a uh, free agent playing CAV in Div B, but nobody wanted me. So, um, I think some teams missed out there, frankly. It sounds like they did miss out big time now, so maybe... Uh... Some commanders looking a bit silly now in Division B. Probably kicking Agreed. themselves, I'm sure. Yep. Um, and the, the the well done I didn't let anyone have was uh, Donor. Uh, I think they did really well. Uh, they, they're they promoted, obviously, to A. I think in in the past, in these tournaments, it's been so rare for teams to win their promotion matches. Like, incredibly rare. Uh, unless yep. it's been, like, an obvious one where this, like, this team's had to start too low. Um, and then moved up, like uh, when A were in Division C, for example, in the A and L, uh, and then they obviously won. And, but yeah. usually it's been a case of like the top team just just shits on them, and then that's it. So it's always felt a little bit bad. Uh, so it's really cool to see Dono get promoted. Um, has anyone got any thoughts about that team, about the performances, or any players they want to talk about particularly? Uh, now, just as you said, I mean, I'm I'm really glad that we uh, have the mid-season promotions in place because obviously. Uh, Admins are flawless, and when we put together the divisions, we can make some uh, misjudgments on team strength. And Donor was 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 close to that because they were put in Division B last last minute, basically. Uh, we wanted to put them in Division C actually originally. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really good to see them perform that well. And uh, beating uh, NWO in their promotion match is just a testimony to to their strength, really. Uh, Matt, have you guys scrimmed against them, or like, do you see many of the players on MM, etc.? Um, I haven't scrimmed against them, but I've seen Arahak playing quite a bit. He's been around for a while, and he's doing quite well recently, I think. Picking it up a bit. Yeah, he's looking been, at the stats here. He has been around a long time, hasn't he? Time. 55 kills. I think, it, I think it's Ryder of Rahiram as well. He's on matchmaking yeah, all the time. Yeah, he's playing a lot. These are kind of Turkish matchmaking guys are they polish i think is he Am oh, I right Rohan, that, uh, is he polish i don't know polish or turkish don't know actually that hun guy i played him on match making the first time today this garion was big enough to me telling me to pick him hun's an old player yeah well, i've never yeah, seen him around he, he's a really good guy erolak sometimes ancient i mean erolak he was in um union of calicendium 308 wasn't he yeah i think so <laughs> one of the greatest warband teams to ever play the game <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> Every five minutes, Nico brings up Calicrando. Oh, well, they were great. I mean, that side, I mean, oh, like Midgard, oh, Metacan. It was just delicious. Like, Grenade, uh, Sakichi. Did you, all, um, all did you have like. any feats against that team like, when they when they merged with the Polish team? Did you do anything interesting? What do you mean? Merged with the Polish team? When did, Was it not them that played with Trinity? As Trinity no, 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 Trinity was... Uh, Three Polish teams. So that was um, oh, okay. that was Zeli Papa, uh, Polish Eagles, and Wolves. Uh, totally different. So there you go. Another amazing team. Probably another top five team. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna bore people here. So we'll move on quickly. <laughs> uh, you can, if you're interested for more, you can read about that in the Athenaeum, which yes. un <laughs> which unfortunately is completely messed up because of the form transition. Oh, did they not fix that? I thought that was the one of the ones they fixed. Well, they asked me to do it, but I can't be asked. Man. They asked would... you to fix it. Yeah, it just that took so many hours to <laughs> to compile. You should burn it and... in protest. I was. No, don't do that. I mean, was close to having a breakdown, obviously, but. How long did it take you to make that? Uh, 
well, quite some time. Don't, don't tell him the truth. <laughs> it's a couple of hours here and there, Matt. Oh, no, he, start, he started it when Calaquendi and Trinity were teams. That's how long it's taken to build the annals. Continuous work for over two years. <laughs> Trinity, I mean, Trinity was a great team. I mean, I don't nah, think, I don't think, best, um, so. I don't think Polish warband really ever uh, recovered from the dissolution of that side. To be honest, uh, tremendous. It's a shame that there always seemed to be like this this bipolar uh, scene, right? Like with with like Polish Eagles on one side and then Saracens and whatever. Yeah, Rafa's a Rafa, Rafa's a yeah, Rafa, exactly. Rafa, blah 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 blah. It's the same kind of in Germany, like when uh, Deutschritter and Kreuzritter played. Uh, I think if those two teams had merged, that would have like formed a super team, which could have uh, actually had a shot at like winning. Yeah, you big could have got one or two more rounds against AE, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it's easy. To... Like Slade's team. Uh, Slade's team. Uh, DR. They came back for that 66 tournament. They lost to uh, that team of like Slade, Watley. That was Aquidem, oh, yeah. obviously not the R, so. Oh, oh, I mean, they're quite similar in teams, to be fair. <laughs> Bunch of German players. I mean, it's, it's quite easy speaking as you right? And you recruit from like the whole of Europe. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Compared yeah. to just one nation. Yeah, are we just naming all the teams that Deacon single handedly destroyed by recruiting the best players from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Warband Football Manager, innit? Uh, um, <laughs> anyway, we digress. Uh, the, we anyone I mean Ojo you played against this donor team uh, what do you like about them what don't you like about them uh, I mean the only player that actually stood out in the match was Ryder Ryder Um I think he I didn't I don't I didn't actually fight against them that much I don't think does he play just, Cav he, yeah he just seemed to like kill everyone quite a lot which is bad for us but good for him um, but I mean to be honest I don't they played their main main strength, and this kind of I guess this is what Scar was saying earlier was they didn't really have, apart from Ryder and a couple of runs, they didn't really have individual players that stood out. But what they did really well was when they did something, they did it together. Um, I think like quite on the Vega side when we were like wherever we went, we got blocked off by them as Nords, and whenever they blocked us off, like they were really aggressive. All of their cav were getting stuck in. All their players were like they knew their plan and they knew what they were gonna do. Um, and you can tell when teams are like that, and you can tell when they're a bit more cohesive. Um, and, you know, I would still say, like, player on player, the people on our side were mostly better than them, but because they were doing everything together, whereas we were always 10 minutes behind. Um, yeah, that's why they did well. Teamwork makes a dream work. Exactly. Right, it does. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll finish up the kind of re uh, recap. Uh, I mean, Griffin just... was in, he was just playing shit. He was playing on a Corsair cab. He just got dismounted every round. But we just still lost anyway for some reason, even though Griffin was just riding around like a lunatic. He had some Damn. mega, hasn't he had some mega clutch this tournament? Uh, I know that Ryder guy got seven kills in the round against you, didn't he? I saw on I, the top I think the, I, I think the Griffin clutch was him raising the flag against like six Dane players or something like that. Yeah, that's not but, bad, is it? I mean, it was a very good decision, but he didn't have to do any fighting because <laughs> they couldn't reach him. So, all right, so clutch decision making, not necessarily clutch play. Um, we'll just finish up this bit because we've got the uh, the league table up here. We'll just talk about the uh, kind of our predictions for Division C before we move on to our knockout stage predictions. Uh, Matt, who's going to finish top of Division C? Uh, mm, that's a hard one. Mm, Men of Boar or the American side? I think. I'd say really. You fancy both of them see. over the Senate then? Yeah, Senate. Literally, like, just going down. Going down, you heard it here. There you go. OGL? Lost motivation, haven't they? Uh, top of Div C? Yeah. Wait, what, what do they do? They just keep so playing. They just carry on playing a ladder. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what's the team with uh, Selene and Marco and stuff in it? I want to give them a shout out. I think that's Milites Fortuna, isn't it? Is yeah. It? Yeah, it is. So they're doing pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, them to be top. I mean, that's that's not going to happen. That's, um, I mean, that's a big shot in three weeks, I believe. <laughs> they says here they're fifth, so I mean that's not far to go. No, all right, fair enough. Uh, I like them too. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think they're going to finish first. My objective judgment just comes down to whether I like a team or not. Uh, um, uh, yes. This is outrageous. Um, Ansgar, who do you think? 
Uh, it's actually quite difficult to tell because naturally you would think one of the uh, relegated Division B teams would win it. That being said, I'm, I'm, I would, as Matt, I would uh, fancy MOB's chances over those of Senate, but I think also that Kobe Tura still have a good shot at actually winning. Uh, they're obviously like three points down, but I believe they going to be facing at least one of those sides and Senate and Men of Ball are playing this week so if they win this and next week I think they can actually make it be Senate. Yeah. Um, I think Kobe Taraj I'm, I'm going with our American uh, oh, North they, American oh, yeah, and stuff, yeah. brothers and sisters uh, I mean it's cool to see right the, the Americans have uh, consistently feel that, like strong teams in Division C always came like close to winning it obviously like playing with that ping is super difficult and they still make it work yeah. respect to them it is good it's always good to have more teams and that they're obviously really quality players and uh, they probably would do fine well, in Division quality, B really, aren't they? they're what? <laughs> Div C quality really aren't they? Uh, I think they're a little a bit above it I think they're probably on in that kind of cut off level for Division B like the top f- like 3, 4 maybe where they're like borderline B alright I think that's a recap segment done um we will move straight on to Division B knockout stage predictions. Uh, I've got a little transition. Actually, I don't have a transition. I lied. I've got a different <laughs> different screen. <laughs> there we are. It's not the best screen because the the the, <laughs> the KA stage is absolutely oh, yeah. bloody massive. Um, because it's a kind of a I don't know if if it's actually got a name. To be honest, it's something we basically put in so. You play multiple games, yeah. Even if you lose, uh, but it means you have an ugly ass bracket. No offense, yeah, Scar, but the bracket is ugly. Or it? I, I I tried my best, man. The, the new form, the code is not working as it should, and it's just really difficult to make anything fancy. But yeah, especially it's lovely and it's very clear. It's a single elimination bracket still, but you basically carry on fighting. So instead of just having a third place playoff, you have fifth, seventh place playoffs as well. Yeah. Uh, and a ninth place playoff. It's basically like a single elimination in a way where everyone keeps playing so that we actually determine the final placements. Like usually when you drop out in uh, in quarterfinals, you make top eight, right? So here you keep playing so we actually determine uh, the the placements then in the end. Which I think is, is nice. It keeps like the teams playing throughout. Obviously the WNL was always like Intended to be the the, the contrary concept to to our si- natural single elimination tournaments, where everyone keeps playing like throughout the whole tournament. Whereas in the other format, obviously teams got knocked out and they stopped playing. Yeah. So yeah, I think that the format we've come up with is actually is actually quite nice. And that's so you came, you came up with this. I think we invented it, and I, I'm I'm calling it a Christmas tree single elimination bracket. We should copyright that. You should call it the Veltzer Linsky system. That sounds great, but I'd it also like the... sounds like an antiquated mental health treatment from the 70s well, yeah, where then... you like <laughs> put electrodes on people's like <laughs> cerebral <laughs> cortex. Well, the Buchholz <laughs> system that you also use. It's like, and then it sounds really official. Like, yeah, we have the Buchholz system and then we use the Veltzer Linsky system. Yeah, that does Other, sound others good. would say it's completely overcooked and mega complicated. Yeah, we that's think great. it's a great system. Yeah. There you go. Uh, anyway, so that's enough of the system. Um, we got pre quarterfinals because we're all about that. Uh, pre pre quarterfinals, mate. Come on, <laughs> get a hold of yourself, man. <laughs> uh, so the first pre court final away, we've got Fallen Pride versus Rivia. Matt, talk to me. Who's gonna win? Why are they gonna win? Etc. Um, I'd go with Fallen Pride. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know who's on Rivia. Let me just check. <laughs> who's on Fallen Pride? Don't know um, either. Got some good players. Snowblind, Saxi. I don't know if he's playing. Uh, I think Vesti's doing pretty good as an archer on Fallen Pride. And I have no idea who's on Rivia. So, did they come up from Division C or no? They did, yeah. Did they? Rivia came up from yeah, C. Yeah, it's them and War Bandit. I have no I've only heard of Light Brain. Oh, some French players. Yeah, I'd give that to Fallen Pride. Okay. Does anyone disagree with that? I think I'm probably not, right? Yeah, I mean, considering how close the playoff match was for Rivia, I would give it to Fallen Pride. 
Let me have a look at Fulham Pride first before I give my opinion. I just think they're quite a reliable team. Um, I don't see how yeah. they really lose that, to be honest. I think they'll, they're, they're all, the kind all, of team who for... beat people they're better than. Yeah, I'd agree. They've got some decent names. Um, There's a couple of players in Riviera. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not a bad fun. side. I just think it's pretty... Okay. Pretty big um, ass. I think I think the skill uh, the skill difference is not big enough in in, in favor of Rivia to like make up for the lack of experience compared to Fallen Pride as a team. Korift, um, Nina, Im Imerald, however you say that. Just people you know. Pon Pon. Like... No, they're okay. Like they're. I would I would compare them to some of the players in FP. Okay. Uh, I think that's easy. I think I think easy. I think yeah. I put money on that. Are gonna win that. Well, I put money on that. We're going with the. I'll put um, more money on. How much money are you putting? On? Okay, we got a bet. On stream, how much are you? How much are you betting? <laughs> Twenty quid, F you win. Twenty quid for F you win. Yep. Too rich for my blood. <laughs> what about tenner? What about tenner? Put your money uh, where your mouth is, Edgy. I'll, I'll put a tenner on. Yeah. Tenor Matt, you happy with that? Done. Yeah. All right, there we go. We all. Too rich for my this blood. This might be against the switch like terms or something. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> We'll see. Seven people have just heard that bet, so if Edge yeah. doesn't pay up, uh, he will. I will make sure he pays up. Don't worry. Um, what are you gonna do? Send the enforcers round to break my knees? No, I'll just whenever we next like win a tournament or something, I'll uh, I'll siphon have, off have money you, to have pay you put together <laughs> Have you put together a disclaimer on how like gambling is addictive, so this stays a family friendly? Uh, yeah, I'm really I'm fishing sports. for I'm fishing for gambling sponsorships. Like I want like <laughs> William Hill stickers everywhere. Like. Bet yeah, three six be five. You to whatever law this breaches. Oh no, sure. <laughs> he's very, very obsessed with laws. He is, G Mr. GDPR. Mr. Breach, GDPR like. himself. <laughs> Learn, it. Learn it in one university lecture. Instantly had to bring it up. Um, <laughs> division <laughs> three quarter final B. We got Asteria versus War Bandits. Uh, I'm sensing all of you are thinking War Bandits. Yeah, I I definitely go with War Bandits. I think they're just. Obviously, they don't belong in C, as I said before. I think they're uh, probably a low division A team, and I think there will be too much to handle for Syria. It's a shame they jo uh, joined late because obviously we would have we would have put them probably in like Div A or B, and they they would have probably ended up Div somewhere. A? Else I mean, than that they sounds are. a bit much. Right? I mean, who have they got? Just super well rounded, aren't they? Like Turtle and Donut are good. Quinn is is Quinn not someone like is that not a yeah, sponge? I think a sponge. sponge, sponge yeah. Right, okay. yeah, I mean that's not division. I mean just those three isn't division A, is it? Come on, they've been crushing everyone in Div C. Like it's division C, man. Like... They crushed yeah, I mean, their promotion like any match. Level. They got like I think uh, Carney. He's like a solid imp. Potessi is alright. Nemesis Strongest. Seems like a good team to me. Well, that seems like a good division B team. I think. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe not even on that. Uh, War Bandits, easy. Uh, I think Assyria are definitely going to take that. You have a tenner? Yep. So why don't we just do 20 quid on the first one? That's too rich for my blood. You're not, you're not, we're not doing this anymore, but no more betting. <laughs> this Moot yeah, points come out. <laughs> Moot points coming out strongly <laughs> yeah, against gambling. Right? Um, no gambling. Uh, so I think Assyria can get an upset So here. all the bets are off? I th no, they're not. We keep that one on. <laughs> uh, I think Assyria can get an upset here. I think uh, Anaconda's got a trick or two left in the old tank. Uh, I wouldn't count on War Bandits. They've definitely got a few good players. Like I like what Donut does. Uh, Tail, obviously, one of the the kind of goat archers, um, and then a few other strong players. But I definitely think there's some up upset potential there. But I think we'll uh, we'll give War Bandits the benefit of the doubt for quarterfinal C, which takes us on to the first quarterfinal. So we got War Band, new War Band order versus Fallen Pride. Uh, OGL, can you win that? Nope. You can't win that, okay? Does no, anyone else think they can? Easily win that. Okay, yeah, we... I, I think it's easy. Yeah, Scar? I mean, if New Bob and Order can get through to play maybe one or two training matches, they should definitely win that. No, that's not, that's not gonna happen. happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even on the team, I can tell you that. I mean, it, uh, it depends if they're gonna have Ogle or they're gonna have Doggle. It depends what kind of style they want. <laughs> what is the difference? Doggle plays Cav. <laughs> um, Scars then, who do you think is going to win? Uh, I'll, I'll give it to NWO. I think now that they're in Div B, maybe they, they think, all right, let's make this uh, this last remaining bit of the tournament enjoyable for us. 
You uh, think that you think they're sandbagging so they could win Division B and get some silverware? No, 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 not at all. I'm just. <laughs> I think they were. Well, you're going to do that. I think they were kind of discouraged at the start of Div A and then didn't put in any work. But now, I mean, surely their sense of pride will kick in at some point and think, all right. Our sense of fallen pride. <laughs> nice. I actually think fallen pride can win this, um, but I guess NWO are a property favourite, so we'll assume they go through to. Uh, the semi-final A, uh, and that leaves us next one: Invictus Legion versus uh, Belide Sovereign. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Matt, talk to me. Who's gonna win? Uh, I think that one could go either way. They didn't face each other in the groups, and they both finished mid table. I'm looking at it now, and uh, they both got some names. Uh, the Turkish team has like Flowin, uh, Franz Joseph. He's not bad. Uh, Thorin's not bad. And Invictus Legion have also got some. Yeah, my X size. Well, they've got some good. Their BLD always seem quite good. Like, they've got like a really nice little cav lineup, haven't they? Yeah. I think yeah. that's either way. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. fair um, anyone else got any predictions for that one? I'll, I'll give it to BLD. Slight edge to them, I think, in terms of players. Which, uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll finish this top half of the bracket and then we can do the other half. So, we got semi final, then that would be. NWO versus BLD. I think everyone giving it to NWO, right? No. I think BLD could win. Okay. Could be an upset. I think they're all playing the game still, probably scrimming. I don't know. Um, yeah, I reckon. I reckon BLD would say that. Okay, you think BLD, OG? Uh, well, I was actually I was thinking Invictus Legion might beat BLD. To be honest, they've got that X kill guy who's been getting like. Like everyone else has been getting like five, six, seven headshots per match, and he's been getting like fifteen headshots. Guy's never off matchmaking. Yeah, he's always playing matchmaking. Um, uh, so I mean, do you think you'd win or lose to either or to Invictus Legion? Then? That said, I think it could go either way with those teams. I think we'd beat Invictus Legion, but I think we'd lose to BLD just because okay. BLD have the better cav lineup. Right, we had BLD going through then, so we'll we'll say you think they're going to get knocked out. Um, Scar. Can uh, NWO beat BLD? Again, comes down to their motivation. Uh, <laughs> really, on paper, these players, I mean, they should all know uh, how, how to beat BLD, but if they don't put in any effort, I mean, Prince alone, right? When he was active in his prime, like, he was tearing apart teams by himself. He's actually been playing really well, but he hasn't played in all the matches. I think he's been, like, only somewhat active. So he is still really good. Yeah, well, I hope he shows that because, yeah, I, I got you guys down to win it still. Thanks, Scar. Okay, I have them down to win it as well, which means it's two apiece. Uh, and we'll go with me as the uh, as the casting vote uh, because I'm the host. So we'll put NWO through uh, with BLD into the third place playoff. Uh, that, so we got NWO into the final. Uh, the next quarterfinal, quarterfinal C. House Dane versus winner of B, which is War Bandits. I mean, what do you guys think? That should be quite an interesting one, right? That should be pretty yeah. close, yeah. Um, as I said before, like I think War Bandits top of the B, lower of A. Uh, Dane, as we also said, played really, really uh, strong and cohesively throughout the tournament. I think there's going to be arguably like I think Tade also already wrote in Shadow is probably like an early semi-final or final. Um, I, I'd agree with that. To be honest. I think it's going to be super close. I give a slight edge still to War Bandits. Really, uh, I'd go for Dane on that. I'm going for Dane as well. Why? Why do you think Dane then, Matt? Uh, play together longer. Um, they have some additions from last time, but I still think they'll probably be the stronger team as a whole. Uh, players like IQ, Demon, known Mercs player. He's really good. Uh, Rainbow, obviously everyone knows Rainbow really good. Oh yeah, of course Rainbow's in there. Yeah, I always forget that. I think their individuals are probably stronger and they'll be better together as a team as a whole. No doubt. Dane, I'll take Dane. Yep, I, I'm I'm with that, OJL. Um, yeah. Dane won all but one of their matches, didn't they, for the V, did they? Yeah. And then they only lost uh, the one they did lose by two rounds. To so Donner. Could have been you losing to them. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I would say Dane probably have that. I think I mean I think War Bandits are, have some really like their top players are better than any of the players that are in Dane, but you need a whole team, don't you? I don't I don't know if War Bandits can put eight solid team players on. 
takes a village to raise a child, OG. Zach, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so we're going Dane through. Sorry, Scar, you've been countermanded here, I'm afraid, with your, your love of war bandits. Yeah, war bandits straight up to Div S to you. War, war bandits, <laughs> fan, it's... fanboy, Scar. Like. <laughs> All right, no, it's it's just so difficult to get a good estimate on how strong they really are because really they had a, an easier run in in Div C, right? But that's just the division below what we're playing at at the moment. So yeah, no, that's fair. I mean, they have looked really strong and they've got some great players. Uh, I reckon that should be a really good match. Yeah. Um, and then finally, D, we've got Menace versus Defenders of Faith. OGL, you're uh, obsolete for this question. We're not gonna we're not gonna listen to anything you say. <laughs> All right, uh, right Scar, <laughs> Menace versus um, Dolph. I'll still give it to Menace, uh, despite not having a hatred for Defenders of Faith. Um, <laughs> I think that Menace, as I said before, just super strong run, and uh, they were my 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 what did what did we call it? Well done for for the tournament so far. I think they can take it a step further and and beat uh, Defenders of Faith. I agree with everything Scar said, really. Yeah, Thanks I can get behind that. that. I think Doth have been a, li a little bit disappointing for me. I think they've got a really strong roster and they haven't quite shown what I expected them to. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, I could see Menace slipping through that one, which would set us up with a Dane versus Menace uh, semi final. Does anyone, someone give me a reason why Dane won't just win that? Um, have they actually played against each other? I'm not sure. Let me quickly check that because I think that might actually also be a very close game. Considering how close they both were, like, as I said before, like, the difference was 5 BHS. So that technically only means that Menace had a slightly easier run in the tournament. But honestly, I think that could could be really close. And I, as, I, as I said before as well, Menace are one of the few teams in the tournament, in my opinion, that actually have developed a, a, a good team play. I'm not sure if, if Dane is even up to par. Okay, that interesting. But, I mean, who, but you still think Dane will win, right? Honestly, I, I give it to Menace. Okay, interesting. Matt? Mm, Dane. I think Dane have a better team out than Menace. And I'm just looking here. The same opponents that Dane and Menace have both played, Dane have done better. You know, I would have I would have followed you all on that, but then Dane lost to Dona, which I didn't expect. Like, two I rounds. Had... Yeah, but still, I mean, they lost. <laughs> they lost eight rounds, not just two rounds. So... But Menace also lost to them. Yeah, they did, but I mean, that, that indicates just that they're super close together. And I think that in the end, team play on those days makes a difference. Yeah, should be a good match. As, do we know if OGL's back? or? Oh, he never left. Okay, I thought, uh, you're, you're back now. Uh, we got uh, <laughs> we got Menace versus uh, Dane. Um, I mean, yeah, presumably Dane win that. How? Looking at Menace, like, I'm not really sure how they actually got... Because they ended up like third or something, didn't they? Yeah, it did well. Yeah, they've got a, they've got a player called Menace on the team Menace. <laughs> there you go. It's like the Alan okay, Parsons I project. I like. uh, Rome said in chat, by the way, that you only hate Doth because they refused your application to join them. We're, we're not allowed to talk about Doth. The I'm, truth I'm is out. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll move on then. So we have, uh, I think most people had Dane going through, uh, which leaves us with a grand final of new Warband Order versus House Dane. OGL, can you win Division B? Are you going to beat Dane in the final uh, to redeem yourself? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, and does God. anyone else? I mean, what do people think of that grand final? Dane. I mean, just based on OGL's response to that, I, I give it to I Dane mean, I, because I there is again. there is no fire left in you. You've completely finished the war, man. You're it's done. It's not to me. I'm just like I'm you're just done, a... man. You're 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 not OGL anymore. You just doggle <laughs> from this point on. I already put us out against BLD anyway, so I shouldn't be answering this. Well, I mean, Matt, you you think Dane, yeah, then? Yeah. So you I think, think Dane okay. would be in, in the promotion. Yeah. Day. And uh, Scar, it. you got Dane. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're going with Dane to win Division B. Uh, congratulations! Probably you can stop doing <laughs> training matches now, guys, because <laughs> uh, that one's a wrap. Uh, and then we'll quickly just say our third Started. place playoff teams, which would have been. Uh, I can't remember who, so let's not bother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Menace versus BLD. Uh, what we think? That'll be interesting. I'd like to see that one streamed. If any, clash uh, streamed clash of the there. Turkish teams, right? Yeah, I think that would be quite a close one. 
Um, Probably at least one cheater on either side as well. That'd be nice. <laughs> a bit controversial there. Um, <laughs> I think BLZ. I'm going to make an executive decision. BLD to finish third. Uh, NWO to finish second, and Dane to finish first. And that is Division B wrapped up. Um, we won't yeah. bother doing the lower ones because we'll be here all day. Uh, so we'll skip now to Division A, uh, which is a bit smaller. There we are. That's a that's a bracket. That's a nice bracket. There we are. I I expect huge intel now from Matt. What's what's going on? Tell us. Well, uh, which side of the bracket are we talking? Let's do um let's do quarterfinal A first. So we've got Ferocious Trident Wielders versus House Stuck. I think that could go either way. I think that would be quite an interesting match. Yeah, I think they're when we played them. I think they were both of about as equal skill level. I would give it a little bit to Stark, actually. I think Stark just a little bit better. FTW got carried by Anubis, if I remember correctly. Does yeah, anyone have... Well. Th there was, like, the some some drama concerning Stark, right? Like, some days ago, some oh, of the there? players, like, asked to be removed from their <gasps> roster and then oh, pulled back on it. Oh, they came back! Oh, that's good, right? I yeah, like, that. I think Chris Shark was one of them, and he pulled... I think the only guy who actually left now is uh, Leonidas. Um, and there was another post saying that um, we have lost the United's but regained confidence. So nice. I was I was hoping that one of you two active players would have some information on that. I have no idea about that. Isn't Leon didn't didn't Leonidas say something awful to you one time, Scar? Am I thinking of someone else? <laughs> no, we, awful. Like, how awful we, was it? <laughs> Leonidas and me are perfectly fine. Um, okay, so I think so. Well, I'll dig into that later. So you got House Stark, Matt. You can't just say too close to call. You got to pick one, mate. I think FTW. I think experience is on their side. Okay. Appa yeah. appa apparently, I'm wrong. Tade and Gibby saying that even Leonidas came back in the end. So apparently, whatever their issue was, they sorted it out, and I expect they're filled with confidence and motivation now. Were you just spreading that because you because of what Leonidas said to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> um. So with the, with that newfound confidence, Scar, uh, do you think Stark will they uh, pull yeah, one I, over I, on Frocious? Yeah. I mean the the. The first match was super close already uh, in favor of uh, FTW in the end, but I, th I expect that Stark will take it now, yeah? I actually agree. I think Stark have this. Um, so we'll put them through. Uh, congratulations, Stark. Uh, FTW, I think they're a good team, um, but they just, for me, there's something always just slightly lackluster about their performances. Like on paper, it's such a high skill roster, but like, I don't know. Just seem to not quite get there, do they? Yeah. Has um, BD has BD played for them in the tournament? Probably not. No idea. Uh, I don't nah. think so. Nah, he hasn't. Yeah, um, that's a shame. So quarterfinal B. Um, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we, yeah, Matt, talk to us. How good is how good how good are Unity? Um, I think week one against Malta was just like a minor hiccup. Which is partially the map we got cheesed a bit on Sandy by the flags, and I think they're cheesed they... by the flags. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think it's a combination of unlucky with flags and their room for just to play way better on the day than ours. Do um, you think this uh, tournament should have implemented Levandifer's plan, which was to have the flags rotate position in a set order? I think it depends on the map, really, because on some maps. Just get into position first of the flag, it's way harder. I think that, Sandy is one of those maps. That's a very good answer, Matt. I would completely agree with that. I think we should have done some testing before the tournament, <laughs> OGL. <laughs> um, so, I mean, is your general... Are you just going to say Unity are going to win the tournament, Matt? Uh, I don't know. Because I think we'll get... To, I think we'll beat Malta in the semis. Yeah. Um, And I think the final, I think it just depends on which team chose it better on the day and the maps okay um i think in the group stage when we played ft that was our game to win 100 uh percent -huh. but i think we just made a few mistakes and they managed to draw against us okay. any flag cheesing nah. um but so I, every, sounds, everybody sounds has like any interview like after any football match <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We had some it good guys at the start. <laughs> if it was streamed, you would see. Uh, we are look, we are looking from match to match. We focus completely on ourselves. <laughs> yeah, one game. At the start. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in the quarters, but here we are. So. Fantastic, great intel, thanks. Um, it... quarterfinal B, Unity donor. Everyone says Unity, obviously. Um, so we'll skip on to semi final. Yeah, okay, well done, mate. <laughs> um, <laughs> semi final A, we got FT versus Half Stark. 
Uh, once again, I'm guessing everyone's saying frontline tactics. Yeah, I mean, FT would just have to majorly uh, screw up in order to to lose that one. I'm afraid for Stark. I mean, they've they've been playing well, Stark, uh, and respect to them, obviously. But I think FT just too good. I agree. FT smashing. Um, is is there any room for upset there? Or I mean, FT is, it seems like a very hard team to upset, don't they? Yeah, I mean, well, they're not a hard team to upset emotionally, but in terms of results, <laughs> is is that is that maybe the the chance for Stark? Oh, get, get, get in their heads. I don't. I think <laughs> even, if, even if they're in their heads, <laughs> <laughs> right. some forum drama, kick loads of corpses on matchmaking. <laughs> There you go. I mean, probably. I mean, that's, that would be their best bet, to be fair. Not that I want to encourage <laughs> them to do it. Uh, Mental warfare. But I really don't see how yeah. else they could possibly win without like some kind of like psychological warfare. To they be should honest. play matchmaking just constantly and like gang up on FT players and like really just like pick on them, like team kill them, <laughs> just do everything with it. I mean, I'm not going to say they should do that, but I do think if they wanted to win, then they would have to resort to some. Uh, some of the dark arts, perhaps. <laughs> um, dark arts. <laughs> that's what they call it in British football when you just, you know, you're playing football, you like grabbing the other players' bollocks and like elbowing them in the chest and stuff like that. But... <laughs> call it something else in other parts of the country. Um, semi-final B, we've got uh, Knights of Malta versus Uni. That's a barnstormer, isn't it? Come on, that'd be good. Yeah, I mean that should be one of the best matches of nah. the of the whole tournament, really. I don't think it'll be close. I think it'll be. I actually agree. As much as I want to. Pick on Matt. I think um, I think you need to win that one easily. Easily. What yeah, makes easily. you think that? Because have, have you played any any scrims with Malta recently? Yeah. Matt? No. We, we actually played, played one official. <laughs> Matt, didn't we? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, that week before the fixtures were posted for week one, we actually played them on Sandy, uh, and we like beat them pretty convincingly. Then when it came to the official, we just got shit on. But because of the flags. Ever since then, every single time we played them, uh, won pretty easily. All right. Well, fair enough. I mean, I think it should be close I, at I, least, I, right? I have played in some tournaments where similar things happen in training matches, and then the officials were a completely different story. I'll yeah, just yeah. leave you. I'll just leave you with that thought. Oh, I've played. I've played in a lot of tournaments like that. <laughs> you don't want to be like a. You don't want to be a Watley, do you? Where every training match gets reported. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Uh, I've, I've always been against uh, announcing training match results, so we don't need to go into that. Um, but, I mean. I, I do, having said, I think it will be close. I, I do think Unity will just have a bit too much firepower in the end, um, particularly Cav-wise. Um, but across the board, I think they're probably a, li a little bit too strong for Malta, who I think will probably win, will definitely win the third place playoff. Um, and I think that will be a fair result for them. I think they're they probably would admit themselves they're realistically the third best team in the division. Um, so I, I think Unity will go through. I think most people agree on that. Now we'll set up our third place playoff, which we'll do before the grand final, because it's more exciting, uh, which would be Knights of Malta versus House Stark, third place playoff. Um, any thoughts? Malta. Yeah, Malta. I think if they play to their like expected standard, I think they should take it. Despite, like, I think there is some upset potential there, but I think just overall, like, Malta has played together for quite some time now, has really strong team play and strong players in all classes, right? What was the result when they played? Was it, I think Malta won quite convincingly, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, I think like 12 3 or something like that, 12 mm. 4. I think Stark could build something there, like, if they if they really, like, practice and put together a good strat, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really impressed with Stark to be honest. I, I watched some of their matches uh, being uh, that were streamed and uh, especially their care on close maps were were lethal. Like they put in tons of damage. I think if their infantry can hold it together uh, and not get picked off by by the shooters and stuff like that, I think they can actually maybe cause some damage. But yeah, how good it's... is Ayla? Like Ayla's been sick. Ayla's she, pretty good, yeah. She's been performing tremendously, really. Like she heads off. she the best. Female warband player, ever? I, Maybe I would could well be. Yeah. Right? Why not? I can't think of one who's better personally. I mean, Aaron wins in chat, so you got to be careful. <laughs> Aaron, Vin Aaron Vin agrees though. So.
Yeah, definitely. I don't see gender personally, just warband player. Wait, everyone stop talking on the stream, because the sound's gone. That's what Gibby is saying. Oh, wait. Is he trolling? I think it's your mic. That's not getting picked up. There's nothing in chat, so... Fuck's sake. Alright, it's because I had team speaker. Oh, no, 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 wait, sorry. I yeah, can yeah. hear me. Yeah, I, I was just ranting. Um, anyway, we'll go back to... We had Knights of Malta finishing third, which I was saying was... What I think most people expected, right? Uh, and I think people are just about to predict what they predicted in week one when we first did it. So it'll be, I, I've got Unity finishing second and FT finishing first, Scar. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think FT, as I said, like in the first episode, still my, my favorites. That being said, Unity drew against them. I think fi finals always develop like a sort of different atmosphere, right? Like it's just one match where everything counts, everything matters. Uh, so results tend to be not what you think they would be. Uh, but yeah, that being said, I mean, FT should be the favorites in everyone's book still. I think on paper, they're both pretty close. Um, so yeah, I think like I, I didn't see, I guess it wasn't recorded or streamed the match, was it? The, um, the Unity FT one. <laughs> So I've not seen that. I don't know what they've been doing in scrims and stuff like that. So I actually don't know. Um, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't place a bet on that one. I think it comes down to the maps. End of the day. Yeah. What? Well, I mean, tell us a little bit about that then. Oh, well, I mean, is it picks? Sorry, is it picks? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. So the factions are like Archer favored. Oh, give me a it to his channel. I'm gonna go watch that later, and I'll, I'll update you all with a, um, with a prediction. All of our archers are playing better. Um, I think their cab might have the edge. I think Inf could go either way, really. Depends if Anchor actually plays Inf or if he hogs the archer spot all the time on the yeah. matchmaking. Yeah, and a kebab again, also. Yeah. That makes Quite... me so sad, by the way, seeing good infantry players play oh, archer or cab on matchmaking. You're on Nords and you had like two archers and <laughs> you got annoyed with them. He, um, horrible. He, stole he picked. He was a captain picking the team. He hey. picked Turtle, and then he took the archer spot, so Turtle could play. Anyone can play, play what they want. Anyone can play what they want. Just weird. Yeah, but just oh. have some self-respect and play the class you're good at. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to go into this uh, this uh, MM hatred. Um, Matt, come on. I need a little bit more from you. What's like oh. bit of fire in the belly? Yeah, come on. Not really a shit talk kind of guy. Yeah, well, I just think it'll be a good. You know, we'll either get stomped or it'll be a good game that can go either way. Like right. uh, you think, it, you think you might get stomped. Oh, it depends. Like we got shit on by Malta. You got you, yeah. but that, to be fair, that was because of flag cheese. It wasn't really flag cheese. It was well, really. Like, that's not what I heard. Oh, well, like Sandy is one of those maps where flags, spawns can fuck you over. Yeah, and then Malta as a whole, their inf was just body and ours. So, so it wasn't just cheese. What the fuck out, man. Um, Gib Gibby says he won't trash talk because you know you're going to lose. Uh, I mean, that's trash talking, isn't it? I'm already a trash talk kind of guy. No, I mean, I, I, to be fair, like I don't. Lose. I never trash talk when I'm going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? You just open up. <laughs> like, you it's do it. I do it after the fact or when I know I'm going to win. Because I don't want to get laughed at. Um, <laughs> particularly. And I don't want to be wrong. So, <laughs> usually I just insult <laughs> people after the match. <laughs> As you all know from the <laughs> long history of me doing that in matches. Anchor will probably like run his mouth. Uh, shout out to Archivist who is a old, old player. He's in the chat. Hello. Uh, we are not playing the game to be honest. We're just having a little is chat. Is that Kits Kitsukaru? Yeah, it's Archivist IG apparently. Archivist. Yeah, that's an old name, isn't it? Um, old legendary IG Infantry. Used to pair up a lot with uh, Christo De Vicious in the IG days. Good to see him around. Yep. Um, <laughs> Scott, yep. Yeah. I, uh, well, I would like to say more, but he was before my time, to be honest. Like, I did, I didn't follow the scene as actively when he was around. So, <laughs> uh, OJL, give me, go on, give me, give me something to go with. Unity versus FT. Who's gonna win? Why are they gonna win? What's going on? I could see Unity winning, actually. 
Just to go against the green a little bit. Not like Meno. Why? I don't think... I think they just have a bit more... They're more solid. Um, FD are really good when they're... <clears throat> FD are like the team, when they've got the momentum, they like... If they get momentum, they just steamroll and they just they just win. But if you... If they come up against a little bit of resistance, they get a bit more... Like they don't... They, they have a bit more like second guessing and stuff like that. Um, Charlini's commanding style, he's a really good commander, but he's like really micromanagey. So if he feels like he's having to like micromanage every single person, um, and it's not going well, and he he'll maybe get a bit frustrated or something like that, um, that's when things can start to crumble for them. So I think there is a there is a good chance that Unity can win this, and I think Unity are just a lot more solid and more dependable, a bit more independently minded. Yeah. Um, Thor and Brian, if if Thor and Brian are playing, I think they'll play really well. Um, yeah. Really kind of depends on them quite a lot, doesn't it? How's Unity in terms of tilting? Because French, French-based teams are usually quite um, emotional, more emotional than other teams, maybe. I'm untiltable, but um, <laughs> there are some emotional players in our team. People that you wouldn't really names. think. Name names. <laughs> um, Kawhi, is he? One? I'd say like you wouldn't really expect Thor to be as vocal as he is if like things go wrong for him. Like he uh, can get a bit loud. Um, I think. Do you think it's a big problem, like in your matches, tilting? It's not really a problem. No, it's not really a problem. Sounds like it's a problem. I think people are looking at this. <laughs> big problems. A, a, lot, a lot of the outside people are looking at this match and they think like, oh yeah, FT like eighty twenty, but it's more like sixty forty odds. I think. I was gonna say, I, th I think yeah, it's, yeah, I, I think it's about sixty forty FT. Personally. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, I think it does depend on the maps. You drew against them. Nobody can say it's like eighty twenty. No, when in you my watch opinion. it. It, it was our game to win, honestly. Yeah, like, I, I saw the screenshots. Really... You could kind of see it looked like you were, probably had a slight advantage. I do well, think it's about 60-40. They, they barely so. scraped the draw. Literally yeah. by like one man on the flag and they, we failed to like kill him in time. <laughs> by the drew. Gibby, Gibby responded, OGL vision blurred. FT is definition of solid and he put the chances at 90 to 10. Things were getting a bit heated when we beat him in the training. They didn't like, mm. they didn't like to talk about training. Oh, well, that's when. That's when that's see, when that's, when that's why you're on the show. That's <laughs> that's why you're on you, the show. Tell if us. If you beat FT then. a few times in training matches, like I, I dramatically drop their chances because they can't handle it. They're an excellent team, excellent players, but, but they can't uh, handle it. I've heard from the FT camp. I don't know specifics. Name but... names. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, I'm just reading Gibby in chat right now. He's saying one single training win, one. Uh, believe just the beginning of the tournament when they beat us in a training, he was full on throwing his mouth saying they're like the best fucking man team in the world. But uh, yeah, basically, uh, Chinese a fair man and he offered playtime to people. And some people don't really think it should be equal. If you catch my drift. Let's see. Uh, okay. Mm. The cla the classic. Mm. You can't I won't name names, but that's just the gist of it. Who is who is playing? Who shouldn't be playing? <laughs> I think, personally, I think everyone on their roster is competent players. <laughs> I actually think um, Samu hasn't been playing that well recently. Like, if it's between Samu and Keanu, I actually would probably prefer yes, Keanu. Yes, but Keanu on what class is the question? Keanu, obviously, Cav. <laughs> is that what he's been? No, he's what? Been, doesn't he? He's a bit, of a bit of a wild card right now. Like, playing a bit of everything. Obviously, Surely he's playing Ranger. Why would he be? He's why gone would in he as play? Imp a few times or Cav a few times if you look at the stats. And uh, oh. obviously, if you're playing Keanu Cav, so, so he can get three stats. They, they, have, fair, they have three you can Rangers. Have someone so. else in. Yeah. Sometimes they only play. Do they only play do, one a lot. Do they usually play? Uh, that's just weird. I don't know. He said. Tony has said he's a. Uh, Fair man, and he told Keanu three sets, and that's what Keanu's gonna get. Oh, I mean, I've experienced it firsthand that someone said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. yeah. Just there's a. I think that's all over now. But you're quite friendly with Keanu, actually, aren't you? Did you maybe position this as your strategy? Huh? Nothing. No. <laughs> yeah, Keanu and I are pals sometimes. Most of the time, he was a he was a stray. I, we took him into our group. He's just a stray little Irish pup wandering around. 
Felt bad Pop. for him. Yeah. He's grown into an Irish wolfhound now. Look at him, striving in, in uh, FD. I think people might think he doesn't really fit there, but he's been doing good. Yeah, I think I, his ranger has been really well. This you've season. got to respect that. Yeah. I mean, he's someone who I think who, who, he's always been good. Um, he's been good for a long time anyway. Uh, and it's a big step up going to a team like FT. I had my reservations, but it looks to me like he's doing really well. So you've got to respect that, uh, making that step up and, and putting in a performance. So well done I think him. it's good that they have him because he's like sort of a counterpart to like all the really young players. Seems a bit like more relaxed Experience and easygoing. Keeps the youngsters in check. Exactly. I don't really think that's how it's happening, but yeah. <laughs> no, I think that just the. There's a few too many. He comes across as like a. Co he comes across as like a comic collective personality. I think that's a good counterpart to people like Gibby. Well, <laughs> what do you mean? But, but that, that, I don't mean that negatively at all. I just, it's, okay. it's just I different it's personalities, obviously. So. Gibby yeah. only has Warband on the brain. Say that. He's got a bit of Mordo on the brain as well. Keeps kissing ass with Giru. All right, enough, enough insulting members of our audience. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, you um, may, uh, I'm waiting for the angry Gibby, message, uh, Gibby <laughs> messages on Steam now. Damn. No, I know what you mean. He's he's a more relaxed. He's a bit more of a like relaxed, uh, kind of cool <laughs> kind actually, of yeah. personality than um, a few other members of that team maybe who take it pretty seriously. And there's nothing wrong with taking it seriously. Um, but and I'm sure Keanu tries, but he obviously doesn't quite. He's not. Trivial. He's not quite as full on, uh, perhaps as a few of those other guys. Uh, which actually... is what I think you meant, Scar. Exactly. Thank you for bailing <laughs> me out say. there. No problem. <laughs> Um, <laughs> has anyone got any kind of last words? Anything they yeah, want to talk about, about the tournament? A bit of trivia, quick about Keanu. He was actually meant to be on Senate this tournament, and then he got um, offered by Charlie and he, and he oh. abandoned well, that, the Senate ship. That would have helped Senate out actually, because he he's not be, like, a good unit replacement. He doesn't regret it. He thinks F2 is the right choice all the way. That makes so much more sense now. Obviously, uh, Senate just completely bumped out. They lost some out on Keanu last minute. I think so. I think a few members were heartbroken, but. Definitely. He yeah. was definitely uh, torn up about the decision, but end of the day, he still believes he made the right what? one. What? Did, what? <laughs> <laughs> Leaving Senate for FD. I'd mean, be, be like, I'm playing for bloody Old Shot Town, and I'm really upset because I'm going to Real Madrid. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. He, he was torn up by it. <laughs> oh, no, he's like, he's like, it's that gif, isn't it, where he's like drying his tears with his cash. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any any other last words? Anyone? Anything people want to talk about, or anything to do with the tournament, etc.? I just want to shout out to my fans. I'm um, getting a lot of fan mail recently after my last um, appearance here. I'll read some out. Uh, yeah, uh, here's one here from um, a Doth player who will remain nameless, uh, but he's saying that um, he's actually started a bit of a fandom for me. They call themselves the Oglodytes, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that took a strange turn. Uh, is that it, Orgo? Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Scar, anything? Uh, just shout out in general to anyone who helped uh, make the tournament happen, as always. Um, and especially to the four teams concerned this week in Division B, having to play two matches because of the tournament structure and uh, the Bannerlord release, which I'm sure is 100% going to happen in two weeks. So yeah, shout out to those guys being understanding. Uh, I hope all your matches go well. Good luck for the rest of the tournament. No fans though for you. I ain't got any fans, I'm afraid. Oh, interesting. Uh, Matt? Uh, no, no shout outs. But no. Any more trivia? Uh, not really. But, no. uh, thanks for inviting me. Can we uh, expect to see uh, Warband transfer rumors return one day? Not that you were anything to do with it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Bit of drama behind that. I uh, don't really want to talk about it. it upset me a bit, but basically, <laughs> for all you uh, fans of the thread who are out there and appreciate that thread, yeah, you can blame Anchor, Gibby, and Puff collectively for it not being around anymore. There you go. You know who to send your hate mail to. Hate. And your fan crouch. mail. And your fan mail too. Um, I'd like to shout out to Get Crouch. All the uh, tournament admins, uh, apart from Scar, because he's always passive aggressive to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thanks to Ronwin and Bulez, uh Dictator, and um, thanks as well to Tade, who's uh, always a great guy and just a, a good person to have in the scene. 
Uh, thanks rest. to all my fans, for all my fan mail. You got the um, rest, like Rome's been watching a lot of games, hasn't he? Reckon yeah, them? I mean Rome just I mean what an absolute rock he is, right? You almost miss him out. Yeah. Always quality quality work by him. Um and qu Rack and thanks Rome living up to his name. Yeah, I mean he's the king of refs, isn't he really? Um I think that's about it really. Uh unless people want to talk about anything else. Let's talk about your fan mail. Yeah? Go on, yeah. fan mail. Do you yeah. Have yeah, I got three bits of fan mail actually. It's one from Stefan's mum, one from OGL's <laughs> mum, and one from Matt, someone called I... Matt's mum. I don't know who they are. But... Oh. There Damn. you go. All right. I think that's enough of that. It's getting pure <laughs> Um Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll try and do one again, maybe before the grand final. That might be fun, right? Um. Get out of bed. When is it? Get out of bed like at lunchtime. Start the day with Rob and finish it with Rob, and that's how it should be. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I realised they probably couldn't hear me again because uh, I had to speak up like a moron. Um, nice. I think that's that. Anyway, so thanks everyone. Uh, try not to die in the meantime. Um, what? <laughs> yep. With <laughs> with the virus. Good luck with Corona. Uh, hope everyone's oh. fine. Stay safe. Uh, wash your hands. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks for the grand final day, which is definitely going to be a thing because that sounds great. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.